Hello, I'm Matthew. Today we're going to take a quick look at the SnipMate plugin for the Vim editor. I was recently creating some XML documents to create checklists for my various flights some aircraft all in the same format. I made up the simple schema, but creating the sort of repetitive XML document can be quite tedious. Even if you copy and paste this line item action block, uh, it's still annoying having to move around to fill in the blanks, pasting it over and over. So to help with this, various editors have implemented snippet functionality to automatically take care of the repetitive bits, allowing you to focus on the real content. Since Vim is my editor of choice, I'm going to use the great SnipMate plugin to make creating these documents much easier. SnipMate is available from GitHub. It includes instructions to install using Vundle. That's the plugin manager I use for Vim, so I will just copy these plugin lines into my VimRC and we'll be ready to go. You'll notice this optional plugin. Uh, this is a collection of sample snippets for a variety of file types. We won't use them today, but I recommend you check them out to see the types of things you can do with snippets. To install SnipMate, I will edit my VimRC file. And since I already use Vundle, I'll just paste in those lines that we saw on the web page. Move them back to the beginning of the line. So I'll save my VimRC, and then you can use the source command with a percent sign to refer to the current file, and that will reload the VimRC file. And then I'll use the plugin install command, which is how you tell Vundle to go ahead and install any new plugins you've added. So Vundle will download those from GitHub for me, and we're ready to go. So I'll quit Vim uh, to make sure that we are activating the plugins. And while I'm out at the shell again, I'm going to make a new directory in my .vim directory called snippets. And that's where all the snippets are going to live. So now let's say I'm starting a, a checklist, that XML document for a new type of aircraft. Uh, we'll do the uh, Cessna Citation Mustang. That just happens to be an aircraft I recently added to my flight sim hangar. And of course, normally I would have to type out all of that XML structure uh, myself over and over, or copy and paste, or something like that. But we want to use snippets. So one of the helpful features is I can actually say snipmate open snippet files. And that actually shows me the list of locations that I might be uh, grabbing snippets from for this particular document. It's detected the context through file type that this is an XML document. So the first location is in my Vim directory, snippets, xml.snippets. That doesn't exist yet, but I can go ahead and create that file. Whoops, I didn't like that. So I will do E, actually I'm going to make a split here, so V split, and then edit Vim snippets xml.snippets. One of the cool things about snipmates is that as I make changes to this new snippets file, they'll immediately be available in my XML document. So let's create just the most basic snippet you can. They start with the word snippet, and then the shortcut name, uh, so I'll just say test. And then lines under that, indented by a tab, uh, are what the snippet expands to. So I'll say this is a test. I'll save that file, and then back over in my XML document, if I add the text test, and I hit tab, that expands to whatever's in the snippet. Capital T doesn't do it because that doesn't exactly match the, ta the tag name, but lowercase t, I can just do this all day long, hitting tab each time. So that's cool. So let's go back over here and delete the snippet. Now my checklist has this uh, every line we had that line, and then an item, and an action. And then we end the line, like so. So I'll save that, insert my line, hit tab, and there's my text. And I can keep doing that as much as I want. Now I still have to go back here and navigate to here and say, you know, generators and on and stuff like that. So it's not super convenient yet. At this point, it's not really any more convenient than copying and pasting. 
But fear not. This is where Snippet starts getting pretty cool. In your template, you can put these what are called tab stops. So I'll add dollar one and dollar two. Now in order, as I tab through the inserted snippet, the cursor will stop at these various locations. So let's go back over to my document and try that again. So I type line and I hit tab. You'll notice the cursor is now at item. Uh, so I can type in my item and then I'll hit tab again and I'm now down inside of the action tag. So I'll set those to gen. Now if I hit tab one more time, it takes me outside of that snippet and I'm ready to do my next one. So in this case, I just type line again and add another item and another action. Hit tab, I'm outside of it again. So as you can see, that's much faster than really any other way of doing this. Uh, it's faster than copying and pasting the blank template and having to navigate into the XML tags and type in the text. You just say you want a line, you hit tab, and you can tab through the various blanks. So there's one other item that is pretty cool, uh, and it doesn't really make sense in this context, but let's say in a more general XML uh, context, you don't know what you want this line to, uh, what this tag should actually be. So you can do a, I'll do my dollar one because I want to just be able to type in something arbitrary here. And let's say by default, you want it to say line. So I'll say one colon line, change this to a two, change this to a three. But then whatever I enter up here to be valid XML has to be the same down here. So in this case, I can actually mirror that one tab stop by putting $1 down here. So this looks good, I'll save that. Let's go back over to my document here, clean it up a bit. Now when I hit line and hit tab, you can see that by default, it's giving me the tag name line, like I specified in my snippet. But if I start over typing that different tag, not only does it change it up where my cursor is, but it also mirrors that change down to the corresponding $1 value in the close tag. Now if I hit tab, I'm in my item, and tab again, I'm in the action. And one last tab, and I'm outside of that snippet. So that's pretty neat if you need something repeated within your text that isn't always the same. Uh, you can just use this mirroring capability of snippets and it will copy whatever text you enter, uh, either leaving it the default or overriding it with whatever you put. And if you don't want a default, you can just leave out the default. So the last one we'll try here now is just do line again, hit tab. And you can see there is no default. Whatever tag name I type is the tag name I get, but then I can still move between them with the tab key. And then I'm outside, I can do it again, you know, however many times I want. So that is the Snipmate plugin for Vim. Uh, I hope you found that uh, interesting and informative, and hopefully it will save you some time if you're having to edit some really repetitive structured documents like XML files. Well, thanks for watching.